Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what it's like to shoot in a softbox like this versus using an AI tool like Photo Room. And will the pictures be any better or will they look worse? Let's try that out today and have a look. I'm excited. Turn it up. You can buy this for like $15 on Amazon. So basically we're gonna set it up. And this is to recreate that like shiny studio look without having a shiny studio look. It even comes with uh, LED lights. I don't know if you can see that there, but you have these strips of LED lights to make it come alive. But you can see it's taken me like 30 seconds or so to make this work. Then we're gonna put in this yellow because canary yellow, it's a nice color. And now we need a charger. So I just brought actually a portable charger here and you have to plug it in. Okay, it honestly, it looks pretty tight, slightly too small. So I'm gonna use, I guess, a candle, ironically. But we're gonna put the coffee mug in there. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna compare pictures. But basically, we have this shot. So it's actually a very smooth, it looks quite good. And we're gonna compare it with Photo Room, which is like an AI that recreates it without having to set this all up. Yeah, you should be able to see that there. And again, I'm going to take a picture of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using the app. So we're gonna click Instant Backgrounds. We're going to just make this, uh, let's make it a square, make it easier for ourselves. Have a look, you can see that it's actually made really nice shots, but it's not quite the yellow that we want. So I'm not gonna lie, didn't really work, but it looks phenomenal. If you saw my other video about how to redo really nice product shots, you might have seen the image guidance tool. If not, go watch that video. But basically, you can load any image here. Uh, so basically, this is the AI recreating that shot. So this is the one where we didn't do image guidance and we just said, try to create a yellow studio. All right, so can you even tell which one is AI anymore? Like, not really, right? So this is the real one that we did with the softbox. So using a softbox or using the AI version, can you tell the difference? To be honest, I don't think you can. And if it saves you from having to carry stuff if you're traveling, this is much better. So let's try another example now. We're gonna use the perfume. And let's take a picture, shall we? So, again, we wanna be as zoomed in as possible. Cool, so we've got the photo. It really has that softbox, like pure color. And we're gonna take one normal one without the softbox. What I like about Photo Room is I don't have to worry about the background being messy. Okay, so we've got the shot and we're gonna try to recreate it. Here, it's a bit more in the center. I didn't quite get the same angle. And then we're gonna go instant backgrounds. We're gonna create image, select an image. Give me this yellow studio look. Wow, it's actually quite artistic. The, the results that we got here are very nice. So this one I really like. So photo room AI version. Cool, so now we have our options here. So we have, this is the original softbox. This is the AI inspired one, which gives you these abstract colors. And this is our copycat. Do you need this softbox? So you can see that the original one looks okay and the, on the coffee cup it also looks okay. But actually like the AI ones look way more realistic. I think if you put this on Etsy, it would outsell this version. And that's important, right? Because why do we want to take good photos? Why do we spend money on tools like this? You know, it's not, you know, there's an aesthetic taste for it for sure. But I think the most important thing here is that you have really cool images. Like this one is so cool, but hopefully you can see that uh, you don't need a softbox to make great photos. You can just take it with your phone, maybe a light if you have a light, but again, this is a desk light. Hope you got some value out of that. Again, subscribe to the channel for more photo room and photography tips.